Hey guys, Davin Lim, board certified dermatologist. If you're interested in treating dark acne marks or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, watch this video. It's a quick video and I'll explain how to best tackle this common problem. So post-inflammatory pigmentation or PIH is a frequent cause of acne scarring. This type of scar by definition is flat as compared with atrophic scars, ice pick scars, box scar scars. So in this video, I'll cover flat scars. Now flat scars can be one of two types. It can be PIPA or post-inflammatory pigment alteration, which is basically encompassing post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and post-inflammatory erythema, which is red scars, or the scars can be totally brown or dark colored, and that's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. The first step is to make sure that your acne is under complete, and when I mean complete, complete remission. The reason being is that if you still continue to have acne, you can treat the dark acne marks, but it'll keep on cropping because when you get new lesions, it'll continue to crop and basically have further scarring down the track. So the first thing to do is ensure that your acne is in remission. So how to actually treat those scars? Of utmost importance is sun protection. So you want to use a high factor tinted sunscreen and you've got to use it at least twice a day. This prevents or reduces further darkening of those scars. Now at home, what can you try before seeing a dermatologist? Simple things like azalic acid can help. So you're looking at a concentration between 10 to 20%. As clear is a very cheap but also effective brand. But you can also find azalic acid from many different sources including things like Paula's Choice. The second ingredient which I recommend is niacinamide. And niacinamide is uh, an anti-inflammatory. It helps re-establish skin barrier function and it can have pigment inhibition roles as well. So look for a formulation between 10 to 20%. Many skincare companies provide niacinamide. It's cost effective. The third ingredient which you can use is vitamin C or ascorbic acid look for L-ascorbic acid in a concentration of between 10 to 20%. Now, when you see us at the Melesmus Clinic and when you see dermatologists, generally speaking, we don't go for the fuzzy stuff. We go for the things which will work and the things which will decrease your pigment quickly. So first of all, we will ensure that your acne is in remission. Secondly, most of us would use lasers and the best lasers for treating post-inflammatory acne scarring is of course the Pico laser. The reason why is that Pico lasers are meant to actually treat pigment itself. Treatments are safe, they don't have any downtime and in the scheme of things they're cost effective. Most patients undergo between three to six sessions and the sessions are spaced between two to four weeks apart. Different types of Pico lasers do different things. We use both the PicoShore Pro, but also the PicoA because the 1064 nanometer wavelength goes deeper compared to the 755. But either way, we can alter the spot size as well as the fluence, in other words, the power to get to your end goals. Other lasers we use include the Q-switch lasers. The Q-switch lasers are older lasers. They're things like the Hollywood, Hollywood Spectra, the C6, the RevLite, the QRAS. These lasers are used in a bigger spot size, between the six to eight mil spot size. And once again, with all of these parameters, they don't have any downtime. The downside about using older technology, it takes a lot longer, basically two to four times longer compared to using newer technology Pico lasers. Another thing which we use are chemical peels. And the chemical peels we employ include things like novel Cosmolan peels or Dermamolan, but we also like using what's known as the V Precision Plus peel. The V-peel, um, in my opinion, is better in the context of post-inflammatory pigment because it's more cost-effective, but also the downtime is less compared to the Cosmolan or Dermamolan peels. Now, if your clinic doesn't offer these novel peels, there are other types of peels such as salicylic acid peels, and you can use between 10 to 30% salicylic acid in this space between two to five weeks apart. Other peels that can help include your glycolic acids, right, as well as your lactic acids. These are alpha hydroxy acids. And finally, you can have a retinoic acid peel. The concentration varies between one to 7% and they're usually provided by dermatologists. So guys, that's a quick summary on how to treat dark acne scars or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation.